So hello um, to my introduction talk about uh, our upcoming course um, to advance system programming in C and Rust. My name is Jörg Talheim and I will lead uh, this course together with uh, Maurice and Dimitros. So let's yeah tell about what we are gonna do or what our background is. Oops. Uh, so we we originally um, yeah are all PhDs from uh, University of Edinburgh and we recently uh, um, yeah moved here. Um, we have yeah all similar backgrounds. So I'm York uh, and I worked on um, file systems and operating systems and containerizations and stuff like that. Uh, Maurice has also a strong background in um, uh, operating systems and uh, memory management and Dimitros is also working on uh, memory management like yeah, DMA stuff and stuff like that. And yeah, we have um, a new chair that replaced an, uh, a different one. Um, it's called a chair of uh, for decentralized systems and, uh, engineering. And um, yeah, next semester we're gonna start this um, lab about the system programming and yeah what what do you want to do here we want uh, to make it very practical so it's um, some sort of um, lab where you get tasks about different topics so for example we're gonna start uh, with um, how system calls works and how programs talk uh, with your operating systems uh, and there you uh, will, for example get a task where you will implement your own system call uh, then we will handle things like um, yeah how basic file or pipes work. So you got we'll get something like a little um, sh shell where you have to implement certain things in a shell. Um, so you build, build your own shell, for example. And later on, yeah, we do things like um, yeah talk about synchronization and parallel programming. Uh, so, uh, where you will learn about um, how threads works and how to lock your stuff. Uh, yeah, followed by uh, memory management. Um, well, uh, yeah, we will learn how, how um, operating systems or pro uh, programs um, handle memory and how it of your, um, yeah, Lipsy gets memory, memory from, from the operating systems. Um, yeah, and a few other topics. And so we it will be like, um, you, yeah, the format will look like we, we will talk about um, a topic uh, for like half an hour, and then you will get some tasks uh, you're gonna uh, work on uh, your own. Um, yeah, we, we decided for this um, lab to give you a choice uh, for the programming language you wanna use. So uh, you can choose for each task um, if you want to do it in, in C, C++ or Rust, and then you can see what the trade-offs are between these languages and um, yeah, see what's what's work out better for you. Uh, but uh, we will limit what you can use as um, libraries. So because yeah, if you would use just some frameworks and some tasks might get too easy, so and you don't learn anything. So uh, yeah, but on details on that we will uh, come up later. Um, yeah, for the, the uh, run of the course, uh, we will assume that you have a certain operating system uh, because system programming is often quite uh, operating system and uh, architecture specific. We're gonna limit our course here on um, Linux um, in 64 bits. Uh, so, and yeah, you should all be able to somehow uh, get some working environment for this, even if you have something running like Windows or something like that. Then you can. Uh, it should be all solvable with um, virtualization. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it will look like this. Um, I want to give you an example of what uh, this course could look like. So, for example, um, we could, for example, give you a single-threaded flotation of an algorithm, and then your task would be to um, convert this to a program that runs with multiple threads and uses uh, locks and stuff. Um, or a different task would look like uh, we're gonna give you a program um, that is not very optimized. Uh, so that's for example, I own in an efficient way. And then we will show you in the beginning how, how you would uh, optimize things and how 
um, to fi find bottlenecks and then uh, your task is to then optimize this um, piece of code. Um, yeah, so what's the uh, goal of this um, lab is that you uh, will teach you how you can find knowledge about how to um, yeah, build to system programming and um, help you to, to write a little bit of code and also uh, understand the code and debug it and um, give you an idea what the operating system does, how it uh, interacts with your user space and um, how you can do uh, resource management and yeah, file descriptors and so on. Um, and yeah, so that in the end that you understand more of um, system programming and yeah, hopefully also have some um, fun. Uh, we will have, um, yeah, like I said, this weekly meeting uh, where we will give you some uh, background. Uh, also, we also will have um, a chat where you can um, join and uh, ask questions. So you can also answer each other questions if you have something uh, regarding the assignments you get. And then, yeah, each uh, week uh, there will be a new task coming out and you will submit the solution online. Um, there will be like a, a Git repo where when you can, uh, submit your task, there will be some tasks, uh, some tests running against your code. And uh, yeah, which we will also then use for um, creating. Um, but don't just rely on the tests you will run there because we want, will also have some um, hidden tests that are not public um, just uh, so that people cannot game the system, which means that they might just, um, yeah, uh, try to make the um, uh, yeah, tests work without actually solving the problem. Um, so we will give you eight assignments. Um, there's some assignments that will take a bit longer than uh, one week. And the, um, towards the end. Um, so, and yeah, there are just these assignments. There will be no other um, you know, projects or presentations uh, that need to be done. And yeah, that's about it. Um, for the yeah, requirements of this course, uh, we ass uh, assume some um, yeah, knowledge in uh, programming and you should also know a little bit about operating systems and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, if you, if, yeah, if you have to have some personal interest, you may also uh, yeah, be able to pick this up if you haven't uh, seen some of these courses. Uh, yeah, you should be able to do some programming. It doesn't need to be systems programming and you need to be a little bit familiar or at least willing to be get familiar to work in the Linux environment, which means like you, you know how to use a shell and yeah, uh, learn how to use some of these build systems uh, that are needed to compile the code. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, of course, uh, obviously you shouldn't just copy the uh, assignment work from other people. So uh, yeah, the usual plagiarism policy applies so here, and you should also be nice to each other, but I think that um, is uh, obvious. Yeah, so finally, I want to leave um, yeah, our contacts uh, addresses here. So these are our emails. Um, but yeah, we will be also available in this um, chat later on. Mm. So I'm not, not really sure if you can ask questions here, uh, if you're allowed to uh, do uh, audio, uh, join with audio, but um, yeah, if you have some questions, you can ask them now. Yeah, there's also this chat uh, in, in Twitch where you can ask, ask some questions. Um, okay, I was just told I can unmute people. Uh, so, okay, the first question here in the chat was, um, are we exclusively working on Linux? Yeah, that's, that's right, we do that on Linux. Um, so you need to get some uh, Linux environment, uh, yeah, in a VM or something like that. 
and um, yeah, the assignments itself are uh, done on your own. Uh, so no group work here. And yes, also the uh, number of participants is limited, but I think the number is quite high. I think like 50 people. So uh, yeah, Dimitros, do you know more about the matching system? Um, I've uh, you don't have to do anything. Just the matrix, just uh, joining the matrix system, and uh, it will do the work at the end. Yeah. No further registration is required. Uh, if you do not actively game the system, you can assume that everything is fine once the different test run. Um, yeah, that should should be fine. Uh, I'm enrolled as a VSC math student. University. So the problem. Uh, Pramod, can you uh, say something about, um, is there any restrictions for people from other background? Uh, so not computer science? No, no, there are no restrictions. The, you are welcome to join the course. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So any other questions? So yeah, I don't know. So we have have yeah, all strong backgrounds in, in programming and we yeah, did some operating system stuff, work on Linux kernel and stuff like that. So it would be fun to yeah teach this to uh, new folk. Uh, is it necessary that you already have broken in C, C++ or Rust or can you learn it just on the fly? Um, so the question is uh, if, you if, if, if you should join the course, if you can do programming. Um, so it should, yeah, you should not join this course if you're like a completely programming beginner. Um, but ideally, you should. Uh, so it's good if you have some knowledge in C, C++ or something like that. Um, but um, yeah, I think you should have a programming background like, at least. I think if you just start with programming, then this course will be taught. Um, yeah. Uh, can you? Jörg, you missed the question of Patrick too. Uh, I'm a doctoral student in a different faculty. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, but it's not a question, really. I think he's asking subsequently, would that be possible? I believe it should be possible. There should not be a problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know about this. Uh, can we choose the programming language to work or yeah. just like? The weekly task. So you should choose for the um, for your weekly task. You should choose from either C, C++, or Rust. The reason is that we um, yeah need to limit what we can support in our tests and stuff like that. So and we don't want to support arbitrary languages, especially if we don't uh, know them uh, some ourselves really well. But you can choose for every week. You can choose a different language. Uh, do we encourage any of the free languages? Um, Yes, so I think I think we have three people which, uh, uh, yeah, I think every one of us uh, would pref uh, prefer a different language. It depends on the on the task uh, for yeah. Uh, some some a lot of things are easier in, in Rust because it avoids a lot of um, static. Uh, it avoids a lot of classes of bugs. Uh, other things are not uh, sometimes not possible or hard in Rust, so um, sometimes C is easier. Um, yeah, but you can figure out this in the lab if uh, what what the trade-offs are between these languages. Um, uh, Promot, can you, s so the, p the students just need to sign up in the matching system or is anything else required? Uh. <laughs> I actually, sorry, I, I also not very aware of the system right now. So I believe you need to uh, enroll in the matching system. That's the first step. But if somehow you are not considered, please write an email to us and we will see what we can do. But I believe uh, you need to enroll in matching system like any other course. So we are new to the university. So we really don't know exactly if you need to do more than matching system, but that is what my understanding is that we just need to, you just need to enroll in the matching system and the matching system will give us the list of candidates and we will enroll them manually in our, uh, our course, yeah. 
Um, the question is if we offer this course for the first time. Yes, we offer this for the first, first time, uh, but yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> Regarding this question, are you offering, I uh, know, sorry, from when can we sign up in the matching system? I believe the general university policy applies. I think we have floated these courses on two more lines, so they should be available in matching system. So as it opens for other courses, it should be open for this course as well. It's the question from ISEC. Can you give an example of what would be in weekly task? Um, so yeah, I can give you an example of what the first task will be. So in the first task, you will um, also learn a bit um, about assembly, but um, just enough assembly that you can do system calls. So uh, which means that you, when you have your program and it needs to talk to the rating system, what it does is do the system calls. And yeah, your, your first task will be just um, implement system calls with that. Um, so there's an easier one and then a different one could be, or something we do in the end is um, implementing something like Docker, but in a very simple way. So Docker is this um, container daemon tool that allows you to run these uh, isolated environments, and you will learn how, yeah, you know, what, it, yeah, how they, how they are composed, and yeah, write your own environment. So this is basically some Einstein task. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I think we have around 50 students that we allow uh, in the course. And yeah. I guess the question is, are, how are we gonna prioritize students given that we have more than 50 students interested in the course? Uh, I guess we will, uh, we haven't thought about that. <laughs> so that's a good question, I guess. Uh, maybe you can mention a bit about your experience also in system programming when you are matching. Is there a way to do so uh, in the matching system? Can you submit your, some background on C, C++ or something like your GitHub link? If that is possible, then please do enter that so that we can actually give you priority based on your experience. Yeah, but I think 50 is the upper limit because we don't have enough staff members to support more than 50 students. Ah, okay. Is my audio really that bad? Um, so so the question, the question, was, the question was if the assignments will be solo or in a group. Uh, so they will be solo, so you will be on your own. Um, that because otherwise, yeah, you never, in a group, you never know who is doing what. And yeah. I guess uh, Dennis is suggesting that we can impose some restriction that students should have ex attended this kickoff meeting. Um, I think uh, we sh don't want to impose uh, so much restrictions as of now because we are new and we are also learning the system. So I believe we are open to students and uh, for theses as well. So uh, right now we don't have any filtering criteria, but yes, if it's possible, please uh, add your GitHub link or somewhere. Uh, we can, maybe we can float, a, uh, maybe Yog, we can float a, an actual spreadsheet online and we can let students uh, enter their details in there uh, if and that way we can collect their background as well so that we can prioritize some of the students if we are reaching the limit so that yeah. may be a good suggestion i guess because i be, i don't know whether matching system allows us to uh, get your their cvs or their github link so maybe what what we could do is we can in the moodle we, we can also have i think what we can do what we could do is uh, um, having some of these survey forms where we can just we can adjust uh, add, uh, add, ask some simple questions or something like that 
Yes, yes, I think that we could do that. So we can we can create a survey form and we can put the survey link uh, on the TUM uh, online course description. So you guys actually can check uh, maybe tomorrow morning, uh, we will have the updated description of the course where we will have uh, some sort of a survey where we can ask some basic questions uh, for you. And based on that, we can prioritize. Uh, yeah. Uh, the question was, if you want to go into share this video, yeah, I, I, we try to, I will put something also in the description in Moodle, um, we'll, I don't, yeah, maybe I uploaded it to Moodle itself or somewhere else, so, but there will be the video as well. Yeah. York, you have questions from Vera, I think you did. Uh... Uh, yeah, I asked, uh, I just answer this question. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, not the Moodle, the Tium online. We'll put the link, we'll share the video. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, the Moodle is accessible after the, the registration. You're right. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then I will put it. Uh, yeah. I believe Moodle is not uh, on yet, I guess. I think that is uh, enabled in only in the semester beginning, I believe. Uh, so we, we should use two more line, I think. Yeah. So uh, there's a question regarding uh, if this courses uh, on advanced levels or bachelors? Uh, we, we actually uh, named the question advanced systems programming, but it is a systems programming course. But on, the reason we named it as advanced systems programming because there is a course called systems programming. Uh, so there is the short answer is that bachelor's program students can take this course and they are welcome to take this course, in fact. So you should definitely target this course if you really want to go in this more in the systems area, yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between? We should definitely include Dennis in the course for sure because he's answering all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what's the difference between the programming course and our one? So uh, if he's probably referring to the, the database uh, chair course, I guess. Yes, yes, I think that's the, so the difference, yeah, you can tell that, I think. Yeah. Okay, also. yeah, so uh, they basically um, teach you how to do C++ programming, so like templates and algorithms and stuff like that, but we go uh, more into um, how to do, yeah, how to do resource management and network programming and stuff like that, so uh, we go a bit low, more low level than that. So if you had had this other course, then maybe this course is something to continue. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's actually possible, if we can do two tabs. I don't know how this works here. Yeah, maybe I can add something like the systems programming course is actually uh, sort of uh, misleading in the name. Um, maybe the it's the right title for that course should be object oriented programming in C++ because the course is mainly targeting how to do C++ programming and the focus is on using different programming patterns in C++, C++ sorry, C++, and uh, whereas our course would target uh, on yeah, actual system programming. And this is why we actually had to name our course as advanced systems programming because systems programming was taken already. The name was already taken, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's an other question about some other course uh, called EIN9. Uh. Uh, I can answer that question. Uh, okay. uh, so this is uh, EIN0009. It's the basic operating system course, I believe, right? Could you go to the slide number four, I believe, York? Uh, yes. Uh, no, your slide number four. Uh, yeah. I think we have course numbers there, I guess. I, let me, before I talk, I can confirm that this is the course we are talking about. The prerequisite uh, one. Nine? Was... 
No, the, uh, the slide where you have prerequisites. Yeah, this one. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, this course, operating system and system uh, software, is the foundational course. And uh, I talked to Professor Ott also about our course, and I think he uh, advertised this course in the class. So the point is that you will learn whatever you have learned in this uh, basic principle uh, principles operating system and system software course. You will actually apply that knowledge in this course. So think of this that uh, the operating systems course will tell you theoretical foundations that are needed to actually, uh, yeah, when you want to apply them in practice, what you need is this course. So this is a, a sort of a applied course of that one. So if you really like that course, uh, IN009, uh, the operating systems and soft system software course you will definitely enjoy this course because this will actually uh, help you to implement some of the things that were taught in that course. Yeah. Yeah, you have to get your hands to yourself dirty in this course here, for sure. So. Uh, maybe he missed out on that. <laughs> Actually, we discussed uh, last week uh, about the about this course as well with him, and he suggested that he should advertise this course. So maybe he forgot about that. Maybe yeah. is the PC in advance but this I actually don't know about the course uh, numbers. Could you tell a bit more? Uh, this is for Pontus. Instead, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we. Can I, I, two, I, can, two I one zero six. can I unmute yeah, people? Can I unmute people? By the way, yeah, that you are the organizer, so you can do that. Um, Pontus. Okay. Um. Oh, is there something to say? Yeah, I, I can speak. That's easier. I uh, yes. That's fine. <laughs> Um, basically, I'm just wondering, like, um, if you can count this as, as either a, a, a course on advanced level or bachelor's level. Does that make sense? Maybe uh, the system uh, is completely different, but... No, I, I think there is no differentiation here. You, we, we opened this course for both bachelor's and master's, and I believe uh, you can, you have all the background to take this in bachelor as well. So if you have taken this uh, course called operating systems and system software in your third semester or fourth semester, I believe, wh whenever it is offered, I think it's a third semester course, you should be able to take this course. Yeah, so you should be able to take this course and uh, it is open for both levels. Yeah. Right, and there is sort of no difference between uh, like the workload if you're taking it as an as a master's course over a bachelor's course? Oh, that's a good question. I think, uh, I believe the, there are many practical courses that are offered for both. And this course will fall into the same bucket, if I understand correctly. So, right. and I, I believe this course offers you six SWS or equivalent, uh, whatever the equivalent number of ECTs. TCS points. Then I think, yeah. Yeah, then, then it should be, uh, yeah, EGAL. <laughs> so that's something you can take either for bachelor's or master's. Okay. All right. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. By the way, those who cannot take this course, we have a second practical course that will be uh, tomorrow, and that is advanced. No, that, what is it, what we call it as computer systems lab. And uh, this is another course, if you really like systems programming, that would be another ch chance for you to enroll. And there we have only 30 students limited. Uh, so I suggest, uh, yeah, try both if you can, <laughs> definitely. And that will also have systems programming flavor, but it is a more project-based uh, course rather than assignment-based. So if you like something working on project, please attend the Zoom meeting, uh, the same link tomorrow at 4 p.m. And uh, the course will be led by Shady and Retha, and they will tell you a bit more about that, that course tomorrow.
do we, do we do we have a, a link to this course for tomorrow because that was a question asked yeah so the link is is on the campus uh, yeah dennis we should hire you as a ta for this course definitely i mean this <laughs> <laughs> He's our head TA, by the way. I think, uh, can we recruit him actually? This guy is doing an excellent job. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have uh, uh, these, the same Zoom link actually. Uh, Dimitri, uh, can you confirm this that we have the same Zoom link for this yeah, course? Yeah, it's the same for the tomorrow's preparatory meeting as well. Yes. So, uh, short message is that try both courses. And in both courses, if you like system building, you would definitely enjoy the other course as well, because that course will give you sort of an end to end project based uh, experience. And here it is assignment based experience. So whatever you like more, choose the one that you you enjoy more and the project based uh, practical course will be limited to 30 only because that it requires more work from our side. And there we will form teams of three. Okay, so there will be at most 10 teams for that practical course, and that is tomorrow. Okay, there's a uh, different questions if you don't uh, for people that uh, haven't don't have any references for the background, how they would should apply um, to show what they, um, yeah, what they know. Uh, is it for me to answer this question? Yeah. Uh, which one? Or what is the question? Uh, the, where, where, uh, from Vera, the second class one. Second one, we I think we advertise it, right? So it's uh, it's uh, Dimitri. Could you post that link? I guess I think already posted by Dennis. I guess right. So no, no, no. Scroll down. If oh, what should be we put in the form on Tomb Online? I do not have public reports to show my background. Oh, sorry, uh, Vera. We uh, we will be uh, making a survey form uh, after this class uh, after this meeting. And we will put this survey form in the course description of, of uh, our TUM online. And uh, then you can put your uh, uh, background. And she says, I do not have any public rep reports to show my background. Okay, that's, that's not a problem. We will ask you certain questions in addition to asking your repository so you can answer that. So we will think about the right format for the survey form, which we will, uh, uh, most likely be putting this online tonight and you can look this tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, Sebastian is asking, will this course be offered in the next winter semester? Uh, I think Jörg is planning to graduate. So before the winter semester, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, ho hopefully it won't be just one semester. Um... Well, yeah, no, but we plan to. So the plan for the next semester, winter semester, is that uh, we will keep this course in summer semester only, and in winter semester we we have a plan for uh, a course on uh, operating system in Rust, and uh, the idea there is that we want to offer a practical course where students will build a small operating system uh, from scratch in Rust, and this course will be offered by. Uh, Maurice and uh, Harsha next. So that is our long term planning. But as of now, we don't plan to offer this course in winter semester, but only in the summer semester. All right. I think we exhausted the questions. So that's it. Uh, if there are no more questions, you do you want to conclude, I guess? Yeah, so yeah, sign up on the matching system, look out for the form we're gonna post. And I'm looking forward to see you in a few months. And yeah, I think that's it. I will put the video online as well. Um, so can share it with other people or whatever. So